Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have got a new journal that I just finished. Uh, it's a fabric journal um, of Vintage Ladies. And I have been working on this for probably six months. And it just took me a while to kind of put it all together. I thought it turned out really beautiful. I love the collage there that I had put together. And this beautiful lady on the front, uh, it kind of has a fall feel to it to me. The colors are kind of fall colors, um, even though that's not what I was going for, but it ended up coming together at a great time of the year, which is fall. So uh, I had taken a lot of different fabrics and laces and doilies and just really sewed and put it together and actually it's made out of a green file folder and I have taken and putting this material on it. So it was much love, much hard work and I have made a pocket here on the front that's got a little booklet here that I fixed up and this particular uh, scrapbook kit that I did use is just more of a um, nature theme so I kind of thought it went with like I said the the look of everything. It's kind of got a little bit of a, a eclectic look too about it. Um, some of the ladies that I use, they're kind of the, I don't really know uh, exactly, kind of more back in the, I don't know what style this is, but it's just kind of got that really vintage look about it. And I've just taken and really just used all kinds of different things. I have this was inspired by um, Ruby from Little Books how she puts her pages together and she inspired me to make this so that's where i really where i got my inspiration from and i think she does such a great job i took and sewed all these together on um kind of like a um accordion vial folder type deal and it turned out really good um, i made some pockets where you could put you know little things in there and these are just some, like I said, stuff that came with the scrapbook uh, kit that I had bought from uh, one of the stores here in town. And I love this girl here on front and the flowers that I put with it. And just kind of added different elements there. Um, this has kind of got the butterfly theme going on. Another pocket I put on there. It's got more of that scrapbook kit that's just beautiful, rich earth tone colors. And, you know, it's kind of got a whimsical feel to it. I did kind of use a little bit of the fairies with it. Um, it kind of reminds me back in the Queen and King days, back in the Prince days, you know, where just kind of that feel about it. That's kind of what I was going for. And um, this is just a little, it says, Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. And it's they. there's a lot of different little really nice sayings in there. These are just some... App, wedding appliques that I put on there with some fairy ladies on there that I printed out on canvas and just add so many different things. This right here is actually, I bought these. They're like different um, sayings on here. They're uh, scriptures from the Bible and uh, they're really, really neat kind of a blocked type fabric that I bought. This has got a pocket here and this is a little scrapbook that I put together and I thought it turned out really really pretty I like I said again use the earth tones the size of it is a six by seven and uh, it's got a lot of pockets on it and I just kind of use the same theme throughout uh, like I said it's kind of got the earth tone feels to it the, the fall look and I just did some fuzzy cotton and put some really pretty vintage uh, ladies on there and I love this lady right here. I think she's just so pretty and I love her colors. So like I said, it has, it's just the nature, again, kind of with the birds and the butterflies and just really pretty color tones to it, I thought. And I got a tea dyed doily. I tea dyed all these papers in here. And this right here, I did a fussy cutting on this lady and kind of just did a little collage up with her. And I did put, that's a napkin that I put in there in the middle. I just love the colors of it. And it actually made a pocket out of it. So it's just turned out really good. My big journal is actually 11 by 9. And like I said, um, when I started putting this together, I really didn't know too much what I was doing. And 
kind of got sidetracked because I, you know, was a little bit like, okay, how am I going to put this together after I made it? So, but I, I did some research on there and looked at a lot of different people's journals and Jeanette, um, you know, she, she always makes beautiful fabric journals and that, um, Susie Thread, Thread something, I can't think of her name, but I, I looked at a lot of hers too. I love the way this page turned out. It was one of my favorites. And here I did a flag, just kind of a triangle type flag and put on there and had all kinds of different elements I put on there. Um, that is a really pretty dually I had there and some lovely eyelash trim that I have that's just gorgeous and just beautiful to bald colors. Another pocket I made and using different things. There's a beautiful picture of a lady there. It's more of that scrapbook paper that has the gold tones to it. So it's really a kind of a rich color to it. And like I said, I did, it's kind of nearly kind of whimsical because I did put some of the angels and the um, fairies in there. And the back side, um, I made this pocket here when I was on my vacation and when I did my Mimi crafting on the go. So I was able to use some of the things that I made on that trip, which I was super happy about. Absolutely love this lady right here. But anyway, this really turned out beautiful and I will have for this for sale in my Etsy store if anybody's interested. And I thank y'all so much. For